Good morning, here we are, that's a beautiful September morning, uh, late September about the 20th. We're going to talk about hedge trimmers, I've got two to show you, these are two G-Tech hedge trimmers. Now, a little bit of history about hedge trimmers, uh, they're not that old actually, they haven't been out, around as long as lawn mowers. And um, first of all, when people started having gardens and big hedges, someone invented a great big frame that they would walk along and a man turned a wheel to cut. Um, and then they used this sort of blade, which let's have a look at them. We call this a finger blade. So these two blades whiz up and down and cut. And there used to be a big wheel and they'd wheel along. Then someone had the idea of let's put an engine on hedge trimmers. So then we had big long blades and big heavy engines and you had to be like <laughs> King Kong to use them and stuff. Um, and then they got a bit smaller, but they've really stayed like that. So it tends to be a big blade and a holdy bit and a motor. But G-Tech, we don't like that. That's not very no. good. Boo, boo. Not at G-Tech. No. So <laughs> I'm just going to pass this over to Yvonne. Thank you. Hold. As you can see, total professional, <laughs> dressed, ready to make a garden film in her high heels. <laughs> Skin off uh, me! Get off, get <laughs> so, on with the product. Yeah, nice one. Yeah, we're real pros here. Anyway, so we think that hedge trimmers are all about reach and comfort, not just about long blades and big motors. So this is an old bit of privet here. And I haven't cut this hedge this year, really. Um, so I'm just going to do a bit of a demo on that. So as you can see, with a G-Tech hedge trimmer... Sorry, with a G-Tech hedge trimmer, we try and keep a nice straight back and a balanced unit. So rather than oh, leaning down here or lifting up high, we try and keep your back as straight as possible. So, and really be able to cover a lot of hedge with not a too heavy blade. So we go for coverage rather than... As you can see, privet's a nice, easy material to cut. Very nice for hedging. This is a really old bit of privet, as I said, um, and it hasn't been cut, but you can see very quickly you get a nice texture. It's going to be a bit of texture. You can see, whether I'm reaching down to the bottom or reaching up quite high, I always keep my back straight. And this is quite a nice balance, so we can sort of do up and down bits rather than um, uh, uh, leaning down. If this was just a blade, you'd have to lean down and then stretch your arms up and all of that's pretty hard work. So we don't do that. So the principle of a G-Tech hedge trimmer is straight back, good balance. Now, I first became interested in hedge trimmers when we started G-Tech. We worked at my house. Andy, who's doing the camera, also worked in my living room. That's right, yep. Uh, Cat stations to... on the dining room table. <laughs> yep. And I found out today they used to steal my lunch out of the, the slow oh, cooker Andy. that was left in the not, not, not every day. Not every yeah. day. Oh, I only learned that today. Um, but we had a hedge out the back, and it was the world's worst hedge. Literally, there's, there's a kid's playing area behind it, and they would kick their ball over, walk straight through the hedge, pick up their ball, sort of like, morning, and, and walk off again. So I was like, oh, I'm not sure about that. <laughs> not really the job of a hedge so but what I did was I just started cutting it and I used to cut it I was a bit obsessive wasn't I the lawn was mowed perfectly the lawn was perfect and it had to stay that way yes <laughs> I used to cut the hedge every three weeks so that was that was it cut the hedge every three weeks but it soon went from being ugly bush to beautiful hedge and you get all this mix there was hawthorn in it and different things there was no clue there. but brambles but the more you cut a hedge the more the light hits the surface and it quickly fills in the gaps. If you let it grow out and cut it twice a season, it's okay, but if you want a nice texture, if you want your hedge to look like a stately home, cut it every three weeks. And that's why your hedge trimmer's got to be easy. So we've got two models. I'll just talk you through the differences between them. So this is a slightly older model, but it's a really good product. So this one, um, let's stand that there. This one is longer and lighter than that one, but it doesn't cut quite as thick as stuff. So, if you want to cut your hedge regularly and you've got really tall hedges, I mean this, you can really get some height. If you want to cut really tall hedges and you're only cutting one season's growth, this is a very, very good hedge trimmer. It's light. Just about anyone will be able to use this hedge trimmer for half an hour without feeling tired. Whereas if I get other people's hedge trimmers, 10 minutes in and my arms and back are begging for mercy. So this is a very good hedge trimmer Let's for regular... Let's see you beg for mercy. Yeah, you'd like that, yeah. Um, so... When you're cutting regularly and you're keeping a nice texture, I would recommend this is the hedge trimmer for you. Or if you want ultimate lightweight. It's got a good cut, it's, it's very good reach. Uh, you can see here, they all adjust so that, we, this is hawthorn, so this is a bit prickly, but you can cut hawthorn without having your arms in amongst it. So with long sleeves and stinging nettles, that's the way it goes. With long sleeves and stinging nettles, um, 
you can very easily cut even the most thorny head with your face to the You just feel a safe with your face. Sorry, I'll talk a bit louder. So, very quickly, you can cut. There aren't any brambles in this bit, but there's brambles further up. You can very easily clear a bit for you, and by angling this head back, it keeps you out and away from the hedge. We'll cut this down, because you, when you're cutting low, you want to keep the hedge from as compact as you can, because that, that saves the rope. So, you can see that, even on quite old blows, and you see poor forms a lot tougher to get to. So even on quite long growth, this hedge trimmer goes through it very nicely. But you probably noticed if you get the thickest bits, that's when you need to change. So if you're cutting thicker growth, so two-year-old growth or old growth, that's where we'd recommend this one. This is a more powerful trimmer, but it is heavier than this so one. Tell so tell us the names. So HTO5 Plus, sorry I should have told you which one. <laughs> which, which trimmer. HTO5 Plus, we've just got some new livery for this, so that'll be the same sort of colours, grey and green, although there might be, still be some black and blue ones in stock. A very good hedge trimmer, and especially if you cut regularly and lightweight is important to you. If it's a bit more heavy duty and you're reshaping a hedge, we've got very thick branches. I would go for this one because it's a great hedge trimmer. It's brand new. The first thing you'll notice is that... And what's it called? HT20. <laughs> it's a hedge trimmer. It's called a hedge trimmer. <laughs> Um, this has got a, a very nice aluminium chassis with belt drives in it. Beautiful piece of engineering in there, which I love and I'm probably boring you with already, but it's belt drive. So it's extra quiet and very, very good at cutting the tip of the head. And this is where even the thickest part it goes through to the What I want to demonstrate is in that just a few seconds, you can really make rapid pro progress with G-Tech hedge trimmer. So if you do want to cut, cut a large hedge trimmer, once every three weeks, you're not going to devote your life to it. You can get through it pretty quick, especially on the new growth. So I'll just do a little bit of cutting, move along, and we'll just clear some of the bigger branches so we can find some comfy cut. So this sort of stuff isn't a problem. Uh, it'll cut a bit thicker than that, but if we get much thicker than that, we'll show you the branch cutting. <laughs> Woohoo! So let's get rid of some of that. Uh, so we'll just cut it a little bit of here. And again, I'm keeping my back straight as much as possible and my arms into my, into my body. That's what saves you energy. It means you can use a hedge trimmer for 40 minutes, half an hour, 40 minutes without getting tired. As soon as your arms are above your head or you're bending down, the clock's ticking and you're going to get tired. So, just a little bit more. Get the loose bit. Look for my quick bit somewhere. Yeah. Now you can spin. Now what I'm going to show you as well is another way I like to cut hedges is you can make rapid progress using it like this. So instead of using all your arms, you can keep your arms still, have a bit of a rest, and go through and start cutting the hedge. And very soon, very soon, you can cut sections of even very deep hedges. If you cut sections, even very big hedges, this one I have to go around to the other side to finish it. Something from the hedge trim. Um, so yeah, so very good at making progress on even a lot of growth, and this is nearly a year's growth here. Right, let's show you some goodies. This is, am I doing that all right? Yeah. This has a quick change blade system, aluminium drive as I said. You can take this bit off. We'll put the cover back on. And you can fit this one. Now this will cut big thick branches. So if you're pruning or if you are cutting older growth, this is what you'd use. Right, so here's a, a knobbly bit of ash. Now that is probably on the limit, but let's give it a go and see how we go. We'll start pruning this bit off. It takes a little while because this is a, a saw blade essentially, so you have to let the blade work its way through. Um, wow! So this is pretty chunky stuff Impressive. that we're going through, but we can do more. Yes, we can do more. <laughs> do more! Let's do a bigger one. Let's, we'll take these ones off the top. There's a little one there which I'll go through. It's probably terrible telly because 
I don't know if you can see what we're doing, but let's take that branch out. And now we've got this stem, so let's see if we can get that one. So just letting the blade work through. Takes a little bit of time. Use the towel when you reach the end. I think it's just about there. And it's nearly cut through, but we're just going to finish it. There we have it, that's more on the limit. So for stuff like this, pruning, reshaping, you use a branch cutter. Okay, and that is, let's go back. Okay, so there we have it, branch cutter, HT20. It comes like this with a blade and the branch cutter's an optional extra. So big, thick growth, this is your man. Regular trimming, lightweight, HT20. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, hope it made some sense, bye bye.